guys i'm back again um it's been a hot minute again since i have posted on here i keep saying yeah i'll do it every week i'll do it every month and it's been two months since i posted um but the last couple of months i have really been refining my store and um, going back through all my old listings repricing them i refoto in just kind of making everything a little bit sharper and just getting rid of some old stock the kind of stock that I just wouldn't buy anymore. Um, I've been selling on eBay now for a good year um, and I had made lots of mistakes um, and I've just been refining it over that time. So what I want to show you today are some items that I've picked up over the last two days and um, the kind of stuff that I'm really looking to buy now. I used to kind of pick up anything and anything if it was two dollars and I could, it looked like I could sell it for twenty dollars or twenty two dollars that's what I would do but now I'm only really I'm only really looking for the items over fifty dollars and it would sell through right I will obviously pick up uh, lower cost items along the way but that's really um what I'm aiming for over fifty dollars with a good sell through right so I will show you uh, what I've picked up recently the plastic crap my favorite um <laughs> I always say the um kids section is one of my favorite sections to be in because um there's all the stuff is just so crazily priced from new um i just feel sorry for parents uh, but if you find these plasticky dvds in the kids section you're usually going to do well of them if you can find sets so my tip is if you're in kids section dvds wherever they are in in the shop that you're looking at if you just see like one of ooh, dark, the wiggles or you see one of high five wherever they are or one of dora the explorer thomas the tank engine any kids series pick that one up put it to the side and continue to scan through that shelf because before you know it you're going to pick up three four five six seven eight nine ten even more of this singular dvd they're only going to be a dollar each and then they can be worth a hundred dollars for a set so i'll even double up i don't mind because they're quite easy to find so even if i'm just buying singular ones um like the singular ones like at different stores it's fine because i'll make a set out of them later down the line so the last couple of days i've picked up a bunch of dora the explorer the wiggles and high five so yeah these plasticky cheap looking DVDs will make you some money. Next up, winter is around the corner. Last year, I was super new to selling as we came into winter last year, but I really went, I had the mindset of coats, are high value items. And in Vinny's, they sell them for $25 each, kind of um, just base price uh, throughout. So I sifted through there. You should, like, I had piles up to here of these $25 um, coats from Vinny's. Now I'm being a little bit more picky. Um, and again, looking through the sell through, right? Right now, the coats are only out in Salvos. They're not in Vinny's right now. They kind of hold them back and they actually buy them internationally. Um, but so it's more like jackets that I've been able to pick up. Like, and I'm doing all right. It's just that they're not really, they're, they're more like, the 50 to 100 dollar mark but this one this is going to be like my new logo to look out for uh acg uh, with nike so i found two of these over the last couple of days this one's worth about 75 dollars. i picked it up for nine um so yeah i always say i don't like buying clothing and it's absolutely right i don't buy clothing anymore but when winter comes jackets and coats um are what i'm aiming for i also bought a couple more like a katmandu got a couple of nikes or billabong which not the best offer right but i just want to start stocking up for those coats for winter now if this is not your first time watching and you've seen some of my shorts and uh, videos before you will know i am obsessed with glassware this one's a little better though this being and um, so Anything like Jack Daniels, Bundaberg, any like good liquor, if you can find glasses or cases uh, with their branding on, it's usually going to sell well. I've never sold, have I sold a case before? I've sold like a little brass monkey. Is it a brass monkey? Monkey shoulder. A uh, swing and that sold really well. 
and that was ages ago but this is a jack daniels i think it's from 2011 yeah 2011 display case with two glasses and um, i put that up for 75 dollars and i just put it up last night and i reckon i've got like it, it there's heaps of views already like 20 views within the first couple of hours i'm gonna put a, um a, a screenshot of it up here so i hope i didn't exaggerate a lot of views in the first few hours um but yeah love glassware and if you can find a display case even better now dvds i love again uh, probably my second biggest category i think my first uh, first category is books i've actually got no books to show you today um oh actually before we go uh before we move on i will show you some books where's it where, as i was just saying with the dvds the Wiggles box as well. Um, I showed, I think on my story, when I was looking through uh, pricing a different set of Wiggles books I bought, I saw that you could, if you can find a Wiggles book, I, I don't have it here, but like it's probably like this size, but it has like the interactive buttons down it. If you can find that pre-owned, um, you're looking at like over a hundred bucks. Which, so if you used to pick that up in a charity shop, you'd probably get it for like two, three dollars maybe, and it's gonna sell for over a hundred dollars. So, with the wiggles, again, I've again a dollar each on these, so I've got I think 17 of them, 17 dollars. And because I've got a nice big set of them, they're gonna sell for over 50 dollars again. I think I've got the, that set up for 70. So, yeah, I do love books, and um, I don't usually sell too many kids' books, but they do sell well. I'm always looking for sets. Um, okay, well that one I wasn't planning on putting in, but back to the DVDs. Again, series, anything in sets is what you're looking for, and series are great. I found these ones today, and I'm pretty sure I'd have to look back through um, my TikTok, because I'm sure I posted this, DVD, this set of DVDs, Sea Patrol, was one of the first DVD sets I ever sold. So it's about been about a year, and I found them again. So this is one to five. And I'll just put uh, the price up here, how much it's selling for, because I'm not too sure. I remember last time I had the full like, box set of it and it was like $100. So yeah, DVDs, sets of DVDs are great. Now I have actually veered away from like games and toys recently. Um, I think just because I'm, I only really want to buy games and toys dependent on what, what what it is like board games jigsaws things like that i only usually really want to buy them if they're brand new oh, do you know now i'm thinking it god i wish i'd been posting more and documenting more because i've bought some such good interesting stock recently and i've not been showing you but don't mind um but yeah board games this is the uh, board game risk now the reason i bought this one it was all like it had tape around it um but i have sold risk before in like a different version of it and then this i think it said like it's an anniversary version oh yeah 60th anniversary version and i was looking it up but it had tape around it so i couldn't open it to see like what condition it was in it was definitely used but i know these self i knew that these self would sell for good money so i kind of gave it a shake like this and it didn't feel like you know there was bits everywhere so i thought i'll just i think it was six dollars seven dollars so i thought i'll just take the risk at the risk um get it um and i opened it up in the car when i got out and it isn't like it's in this perfect condition so that was the instructions just fell out there Ooh. and it's like brand new it's not been used so brand new these sell for over 100 bucks pre-owned they sell for about 40 so i'm going to go in the middle there probably about 80 dollars i'll put this one up and last but absolutely by no means least oh i'm so happy i literally bought this like an hour ago um i have been looking well i've been harping on about builder bears and hello kitty builder bears forever i never I, i've sold some good builder bears i think my fate my the best one was um like a super mario one went for like 100 bucks which was good um but this is going to be my best one yet. I have before had a Hello Kitty top, like the Valentine's top. 
the Valentine's collection was a limited edition and like some of the best selling on eBay. So I'll post the sold listings up here. One of these like brand new and like with the clothes has gone for like $600 before. Just wild. Um, but pre-owned like this, so I bought her for $7. Um, pre-owned like this, no clothes and missing the bow, but quite a lot of them missing the bow because I think it's like, it would stick on. Um, $150 I should get for this. Like, that's a pretty good flip. It's a very good flip. It's one of the best flips. Um, but it was just, it was more the fact that I've been looking for her for so long. Any Builder Bear Hello Kitty, I've been looking for for a good year again. Um, since I found out they were worth good money. And it's just, that's the thing with reselling and eBay. You've just got to keep going. I can't tell you, over the last year and a half, really it is. Um, it's been a year since I started taking it seriously. Um... I've had so many ups and downs, so many times going, what the hell am I doing? I'm buying used crap and trying to make a store out of it and trying to make a living off it. Um, but it's just about keep going. Um, because the more mistakes you make, the more you learn, the better your store's going to get. I'm not going back to work. I can tell you that. Like, uh, look, I am lucky. I have other sources of income. Um, but if you kind of knew and saw my backstory and um, a couple of years ago when I was working in the car industry like I can't I was a different person honestly I used to come home crying every day um, I and I always said like by the time I'm 30 I want my own business but I didn't know what to do I didn't know what I was going to do I was always like journaling and trying to figure things out like I, I, and, I and I tried a couple of things but selling on eBay was like the lowest risk, lowest amount of um, investment that needs to get go into it to get you started. Um, easy, fun, buildable. Like you can do it part time to build up to full time. Um, I really I do recommend it to kind of everyone to go and do unless you're in Perth. Not if you're in Perth because I don't want you taking my stock. Um, but hopefully, hopefully this was as helpful um and i know i always say it but i'm gonna keep this up and um, this one's for my granddad because i did say for my granddad i would be posting i live in australia i'm from the uk so i'm not around my family and them getting to kind of watch these videos and see what i'm up to is kind of our only real connection so granddad i promise i'm gonna keep it up i shouldn't have i didn't mean to cross my fingers i promise i'm gonna keep this up